You open the door. A shadow skitters across the floor, stopping in your tracks. Freaked out and confused, panic courses through your body as your brain assesses the danger. Part of how you react depends on the sensory information you take in and your memories associated with the threat and situation. For example, if you had a bad experience in the past with approaches and you see one, your brain might access those memories and initiate a response, compelling you to remain frozen or to smack it with a newspaper. Neuroscientists think our fear responses are partially guided by the amygdala, where visual and auditory information are processed and associated with past threats. The amygdala can send a signal to a brain region called the hypothalamus, telling it to release cortisol, the stress hormone which activates the sympathetic nervous system and signals the body to respond to the stressor. This system helps guide your fight, flight, or freeze responses, where you fight back against the threat, run away from it, or stop moving. The amygdala and other pathways in your brain help form a memory based on this experience, potentially affecting how you react to a similar threat in the future. So whether that shadow was real or not, you might be better prepared if it happens again.